well, first Six Nations champ, so you've got to be pretty patient here. Yeah, you could say that. Um, I think this is probably, I think this might be my fourth campaign. Um, never managed to get on the pitch, so um, look, it's been it's been something I've been working with, towards for a long time now, and it's something I've dreamt about. So to be given the opportunity is, is pretty special, and um, just got to cherish it now and take my chance. A lot of minutes with Ulster this year. Is that been the thing that's taken you to this point? Um, potentially, uh, I think <coughs> in the past um, I probably missed out in some of the bigger games for Ulster. Um, and that's been, well certainly that's been one of the reasons I've been given, that I didn't get much game time um, in the Six Nations. So, you know, taking a bit of confidence from playing those bigger games, um, to, uh, I assume that's helped. Um, but like, I've really enjoyed the season so far in Ulster and um, I'm enjoying the rugby up there, so hopefully I can take that form into the game this weekend. Jordan, obviously new era, new championship. How has the week been in preparation for this, given all of that? <coughs> Yeah, it's been a really good week. Um, you know, I had a really good camp in Portugal. Um, you know, it's just nice and quiet out there. We can just really focus on on the job at hand and getting through a lot of work. Um, a good bit of new stuff was thrown at us, so I uh, was just trying to learn that and you know, bring it on to the pitch and just keep working and, and keep getting better. And, and yeah, you know, I think there's a good bit of buzz around the camp, and you know, we're just looking forward to, to this Saturday. Jordan, player of your talents. This must be really set up for you to go out on Saturday and have a, a really good game to have a big impact on this game. Um, yeah, hopefully. You know, I kind of looked at look to do it to every game I, I get involved in, but you know, sometimes you don't get the opportunities or whatever it is. But um, yeah, look, you know, Andy he's talked about letting us express ourselves and um, you know, but we still have a game plan and we're still gonna follow it. Uh, of course if there's opportunity there, you gotta take it. Um, you know, that's kinda of the, the name of the game is taking your opportunity, scoring tries. Um, and you know, building a lead and a score. So um, yeah, you know, it's, it's very exciting. Like I said, good buzz in camp, and we're all just looking forward to this Saturday. How different is this week for you? Obviously, you played huge games for Ireland before in November and in the summer. But does it feel mentally different just going into Six Nations? Um, maybe a little bit. Um, you know, it's obviously Six Nations is a, is a massive tournament, um, and you know, we're playing at home this week. Um, there's a lot of buzz around it, you know. Um, but I mean, at the same time, like any time you put on the Irish jersey, there's pressure, um, there's an expectation to perform. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited to, to get out there and, and looking forward to the relation and opportunity. How big would it have been back home? Were you aware of the size of it or was it something you became more aware of when you moved up there? Um, yeah, no, no, it's something I followed since I was young. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty big, it's, it's, it's one of the bigger tournaments in the world. So. You know, it's um, it's always pretty exciting, and, and not to be a part of that. You know, it's, I'm looking forward to. It. Jordan, when you talk about going out to express yourself, I'm sure under Joe, Joe was kind of telling you to express yourselves as well. But is there is there a number of yeah, percentage-wise about when you can show an offload, or what's the new message that the new <coughs> boss has brought in, where we would consider maybe Joe a slightly more conservative? Um, I suppose like you know, you never want to give turnover ball. You know, you want to hang on to the ball and, and play with the ball uh, on your terms. So, uh, you know, when we talk about expressing ourselves, it's still, you know, it's not throwing an offload. That that's that's not there. We're being loose with the ball. It's If the offload's on or, or whatever it is, the, the ball over the top or the kick in behind, whatever scenario you're put in, you take it with a calculated risk, I suppose. You know, you're not just throwing a ball at the back for the sake of it, hoping. You know, in the back of your head, you know where it's going to go to. You're not being loose with it. Um, you know, a team like Scotland, you can't give them cheap turnover ball because, you know, just look at the back three. Off counter attack, they'll rip you apart. So, um, you know, it's not being loose with the ball, but it's also that fine line between throwing the offload or just tuck and carry. So, um, yeah, I suppose just finding that balance.